Did you know that an estimated 250,000 youth are prosecuted in the adult criminal justice system in the U.S. every year? Or that on any given day, 10,000 youth are charged or sentenced as adults and languish in adult jails or prisons where they are at risk of assault, abuse, and suicide? These youth face lifelong consequences because of this practice. They carry the stigma of an adult criminal conviction, and as a result, they may have difficulty finding a job or getting a college degree to help them turn their lives around. The consequences of an adult conviction aren't minor. They are serious, lifelong, life-threatening, and in some cases, deadly. These harmful federal and state policies don't work. In fact, research shows they decrease public safety. No study, to my knowledge, exists to show that sending youth to adult court increases public safety or decreases crime. The Campaign for Youth Justice was founded in 2005 to end the practice of trying, sentencing, and incarcerating youth in the adult criminal justice system. The campaign is a member organization of the National Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Coalition, and we co-chair the Act for Juvenile Justice campaign to support federal leadership and investment in juvenile justice. The strategic goals of the campaign are to reduce the total number of youth prosecuted in the adult criminal justice system and to decrease the harmful impact of trying youth in adult court, especially placing youth in adult jails and prisons. We use a campaign model to effect change on a short-term, goal-specific, and targeted basis at the national level to drive reform at the state level. We're working to achieve tipping point that is, a majority of states substantially changing their state policies and practices to reduce the prosecution and placement of youth in adult criminal courts and jails or prisons. To get to tipping point, we're focused on changing state policies and practices, and that involves organizing, securing advocacy support, continuing media outreach, creating policy, conducting research, and building a coalition as well as other strategies. We also advocate for federal policies that will support states in their efforts to substantially reduce the prosecution of youth in adult criminal court and remove children from adult jails and prisons. In order to achieve the campaign's strategic goals, we utilize a campaign model to effect change in a focused number of states by targeting opportunities for change in states seeking to accelerate reforms. The campaign's approach has yielded tangible results and numerous state-level successes already in the few short years that the campaign has been in operation. We play a vital role in supporting state-based efforts in each of our partner states, and we serve as a clearinghouse of information using key strategies and peer-to-peer -peer connector opportunities among the different groups. The campaign is uniquely positioned to support youth, their families, advocates and allies who are working to change state policies. We're the only national clearinghouse and go-to resource for anyone working to end the practice of trying youth in adult criminal court. Additionally, we're available to provide technical assistance at a moment's notice to anyone working on this issue. This includes activities such as strategizing on how to change state policy, reviewing policy options, discussing research, identifying potential spokespersons, and figuring out media outreach plans. And we are uniquely a source of support for youth and families who are most directly affected by this issue. Through the Alliance for Youth Justice, we are able to connect families and youth throughout the nation, as well as provide training, resources, and other support services that engage stakeholders, raise the visibility of the issue, and launch new campaigns. What makes us effective is that we're strategically focused on our mission, and all of us work collaboratively toward accomplishing that goal. We believe in engaging the youth and their families who are most directly affected by the justice system, and they are the face, voice, and movement of this organization. Additionally, we believe in collaboration and partnerships with individuals, organizations, and other experts. The campaign has hundreds of people involved in the work all over the country, and we hope that more people will join the movement.
We measure success in several ways. First, we assess our success by how it's changed state policies and practices. Second, we look at whether we've made substantial progress towards changing state policies and practices. And third, we look at our progress through base building and whether we were able to bring new stakeholders to the table. Many people don't know that since the campaign's inception, we've engaged directly affected youth, their parents, and families in a number of ways. In 2009, we launched the Alliance for Youth Justice Program, where currently more than 400 families in 40 states participate. The overarching goal of the Alliance for Youth Justice Project is to expand the number of parent and family leaders launching campaigns. The target population for this project are the parents and families of youth who are directly impacted by this issue and are disproportionately poor and people of color. Another component that many people don't know about is our Family Leadership Institute. We created this program to provide training and support to a core group of parents and families who are interested in leading advocacy efforts in their own states. We also manage, throughout the year, an extensive correspondence project, an annual holiday gift drive, and paid fellowships for incarcerated youth and those who are prosecuted in adult criminal court as youth. Our correspondence project includes sending cards to the youth's mothers, sisters, daughters, and other family members, and our paid fellowships help our youth develop their advocacy skills and spokesperson training. The Campaign for Youth Justice has numerous accomplishments we'd like to share with you. First, we've established a National Center of Information on Youth Prosecuted as Adults. This center includes an updated compilation of all the national data and research about youth tried in adult court, state-by-state -state research, summaries of key studies and links to major ones online, stories of youth and their families who have been directly affected through written case profiles, radio and video interviews, and advocacy tools for individuals working to change state policies, such as toolkits, outreach materials, and campaign how-to information. We've also elevated the profile of youth and their families who've been most directly affected by this issue through our National Media Campaign and Spokespersons Bureau. And together with our allies, we've supported policy changes in more than a dozen states and have campaigns underway in another half dozen states. In sum, we've put this issue on the map and demonstrated that change is possible. We have faced a number of challenges. Here are a couple of examples. First, the population of youth in adult criminal court was largely invisible until we launched our campaign. Throughout this process, we've sought to put a face on the issue by collecting stories of youth and their families who have been negatively impacted because of their participation in the adult prison system as youth. We've also created a spokespersons bureau of youth and their families, as well as other experts to help generate interest in this issue. This national media campaign has elevated the voice of affected youth and their families, and while we've accomplished a lot, this is still an ongoing challenge. We need to work to engage more spokespersons, collect more stories, and expand the Spokespersons Bureau. Second, there's a dearth of advocacy on this issue throughout the country. We have worked with the few groups that exist on the ground in various states, but the numbers are still too small. In launching new campaigns, we need to expand the base of people engaged on the issue, creating new statewide networks, building alliances with other like-minded groups, and in some cases, starting new organizations that can house the campaign. With additional resources, we would expand the number of states we're working with, and deepen the technical assistance we provide through giving more trainings, increasing our networking efforts, and directing support to individuals and organizations. We would expand our outreach efforts to ensure we have youth and families in all 50 states and support the capacity of families and youth in each state to build a base of supporters and launch their own state-based campaigns. Additionally, we would convene groups in each state on a regular basis, as well as provide ongoing training opportunities for individuals and groups leading campaigns. 
Ultimately, we would like to host an annual national conference to share best practices and network with all the states. We would like to be on the ground working with more states to affect change. We would also like to document more effectively the successes in each of the states where policy reforms have been enacted through reports, videos, and trainings. And we would like to expand our spokespersons bureau so that families and youth in more states could access our media resources and more effectively speak about and advocate on this issue.